In the previous video, I introduced our tools in Python, which is a module in Python for optimizing linear problems using uh, basically Google OR tools. Uh, for example, you uh, can get access to the GLOB solver or the GLOP solver by Google. Um, there, there's a slight difference in syntax in this video. Basically, I'm solving the same problem as in the previous video. Um, the problem is given up here. Uh, I have a single objective or a, a single objective function. So it's a single goal problem. And I have three inequality constraints as well as I have three optimization variables that both have a lower bound of zero but have no upper bound. Um, and in the previous video, I, I gave one example for how you can model this problem with OR tools syntax in Python. In this video, there's going to be a slight um, change in syntax. Um, and depending on how you are writing your code and your application, you might find this syntax more convenient. It's definitely uh, more, um, it's, it's more lean. Um, so this is a very lean example on how you can model a linear problem like this using OR tools. Again, you have to install OR tools with pip install. You have to import the subpackage pyrapplp. Um, this will give you access to the solver class and you can create the, the solver using the create solver method. Uh, you can give the solver a name and you can specify which solver you want to use. In this case, we want to use the GLOP solver. So I specify it here. And this will create the solver, an instance of the solver. And uh, this instance I'm storing here as a reference uh, so that I have a reference handler and I'm storing that reference in, in this solver variable. Using that reference handler, I can now call, for example, the numVar constructor for creating numerical variables as optimization variables. This is also something I did in the previous video. For each optimization variable, I have to specify a lower and upper bound and I have to give a name. The naming I do in accordance with the problem statement up here. And also here, this will return an inst or a reference to the instance and I'm storing that in a variable. Now there's a difference here. So uh, in, the, in the previous video, I used the objective constructor to add an objective. And then using uh, the reference handler for that objective, I used the set coefficient method and added all the terms of the objective function. And finally, I then used uh, set maximize to specify that um, this is a maximization problem. In this case, I'm now using the the reference handler for the solver instance itself. And I directly use the maximize method to add a maximization objective. And I state it here in uh, usual or, or very normal uh, mathematical syntax. And the constraints are also add in a very um, co coding efficient uh, way or space efficient way simply by calling the add method and adding the constraints uh, like this. So this is very straightforward. I now uh, have a maximization objective that is defined with all the terms and I have uh, three constraints as well as I have the three optimization variables with the specified bounds. So I modeled my problem now and now I can solve it. And again here I'm printing just as in the previous video the optimal solution to the optimization variables using the solution value method. And um, I'm also recalculating the optimal value of the problem um, down here. So um, it's the same solution, it's the same problem as in the previous video. Um, it's the same module in Python, namely the OR tools module, but it's just a more, uh, I think, more convenient uh, syntax for um, uh, building up your model. And um, if you would like to uh, reproduce these results or try to adjust uh, some of the settings, or if you would like to use this as a template for creating your own linear uh, model, then you can find this coding example on my blog. I put a link in the video description that will take you directly to the um, code. 